When you put yourself into a state of total trust, the universe responds, and begins providing immediately. And I mean, total trust, not a cocktail of trust and fear. Adama. Chapter 14 Messages from El Moria The consciousness that functions on, automatic pilot, is not heading for the ascension door, greetings, beloved ones. I am El Moria, the guardian of the focus of the will of God for this planet. From our abodes within Mount Shasta, Adama and I wish to bring you a message of love. Our message is a wake-up call, dear ones, because we know that time is now getting very short for all of you. Adama has described the state of consciousness or attitude in which so many precious souls of Earth allow themselves to live on, automatic pilot, a state of spiritual slumber. In that state, people do not consciously create their reality nor do they live their lives in accordance with their soul purposes or the goals they chose before coming into this incarnation. Because we love you so very much, it is our great desire to greet all of you at the portal of the fifth dimension around the year 2012. As we open wide the portal and lay out the golden carpet for your arrival, it will be our delight to bid you welcome to the realms of light and love. What a wondrous and joyous day this will be for us and for those of you who step through this door. What a happy reunion it will be for us all. A great reception is being prepared. There will be the shedding of many tears on that great day, but this time, dear ones, they will be tears of pure joy and ecstasy. Can you imagine, just for a moment, the joy you will experience when you meet consciously, in your immortalized body, face to face with those you have loved dearly in your present life? You will also meet those whom you may not remember at this time, but who are souls you have been close to and loved just as dearly in other lifetimes. They are the ones you have known for millennia, your eternal friends with whom you have incarnated again and again, as well as other members of your soul family who love you so profoundly. As we share this information, we already feel the joy and excitement that this wondrous day will bring. Your loved ones are waiting to embrace you with much expectation. They will all be there near, the door, robed in garments of light and glory, waiting to welcome you in their arms as you enter. As our channel Aurelia Louise receives these words from us, tears are rolling down her cheeks at the thought of rejoining the souls of light who were her parents in this present life, and with other members of her family who made their transition to the other side, during her childhood. As she writes and wipes her tears, they are also present with her in spirit, watching and sending their love, looking forward with great anticipation to the day of the great reunion. That day will be so wondrous that the whole of creation will be watching. I repeat myself again, it is the most sincere desire of the spiritual hierarchy of this planet and your Father, Mother God to see all of you make it to this sacred portal and step through. Beloved ones, out of our great love for you, we of the spiritual hierarchy, wish to remind you once again that there is a code of entry into the fifth dimension. There are jokes in your world about, Peter, standing at the gate of heaven and deciding who will or will not be allowed entrance into the kingdom. Well, my friends, this is not so much of a joke here. There is more truth to this than many of you may realize at this time. I say this because there is a gate or a portal at which one must qualify for admission. I, El Moria, was embodied as the disciple Peter in the time of Jesus. Now I have become the Chohan and the guardian of the first ray of the will of God for the people of Earth. This means that I am also the guardian of that portal. The will of God, dear ones, is the first portal one must enter in order to progress in the right direction on the spiritual path. You must be willing to surrender your human ego and human personality to the will of God, to be refined and transformed into the divine, to walk your true spiritual path. Divine will is the first portal. There are six others you must also qualify for before you can reach the door of the fifth dimension for your planetary ascension. To go through this first portal, it is highly recommended that you take my classes on the inner planes, while your body sleeps, or those from my co-workers of the will of God. You must pass my tests in your waking state before you can move on to the next portal. Many of you reading this have already moved through this first portal in this life or in the past, and some of you have passed through other portals as well. We deplore the fact that a large percentage of humanity is still living their lives on, automatic pilot. They have no idea where they are going, why they are incarnated on Earth, nor do they want to find out. They live their lives from day to day, with no conscious direction, their minds and hearts scattered to the four winds, following the path of least resistance in spiritual slumber. 
On the threshold of such a monumental event, one that humanity has been waiting and longing for hundreds of thousands of years, there are still too many precious souls who have not presented themselves to the Council of Light at the entrance to the portal of which I am in charge. I, and my co-worker Adama, along with several others, are joining together to see if we can give you one more, wake up, call. If you have not yet made it to the portal of the, will of God, we want you to know that it is still possible to catch up and pass through the other portals, on time, if you choose to do so. There is no more time for procrastination. You must awaken now and earnestly apply spiritual laws in all aspects of your life, living by the concepts of love from day to day. Let go of your fears and preconceived ideas about God. Be willing to embrace the truth that you have cleverly avoided. Become the God that you are, right now, by becoming love in action in all you think, say and do. Love is the only shortcut you can use in your ascension process. It is the great key, love of self, love of God and love for all the earth kingdoms. Love and honor all that breathe the life of the Creator. Let go of all judgments and embrace the way of harmlessness. With enough love in your heart, you can make it through all the portals to the ascension door. On time, be assured it will not happen for those who continue to live their lives on automatic pilot. All who arrive at the ascension door will have to pass the seven initiations in order to acquire the codes of entry and qualify for planetary ascension. Each one of those seven initiations has seven levels of testing. It used to take several lifetimes of diligent application of the spiritual laws to be able to pass through one or more of those initiations. At this very unique time in Earth history, there is an unprecedented dispensation by which each soul, with serious and diligent application, can accomplish this in a few years. I, El Moria, shall be there, as the, Peter, you are familiar with, along with the rest of the spiritual hierarchy and your loved ones to welcome every one of you, back home. I am your eternal friend, El Moria. The christing of our planet has begun. It is my pleasure and honor to give a transmission for the English-speaking population who will read the Telos information. I want you to know that you are all very dear to my heart. This information is very important and timely, and I would like to suggest that you take it very deeply into your heart and consciousness. It will greatly assist you in opening your awareness and perception of the higher dimensions. This material gives you an idea of how life was originally meant to be expressed on this planet. It also gives you a glimpse of the direction the Earth is taking for the future of humanity. What is ahead is so wondrous, it simply cannot be described in a book. The whole plan cannot be revealed at this time either. The Telos books give you a very good introduction to the wonders that await you when you open yourself to your higher consciousness and divinity. It is also important that this information be shared with all those who are open to it. This is part of your homework, my friends. The time has come for the Lemurian consciousness to be revived and known again on the surface of this planet. It represents the consciousness of the source energy of your creator. It is nothing less than the return of the Christ consciousness in its most practical form for all to apply. The new Lemuria is not just a place to go, it is most of all a state of being, of perfection, of Christhood and divinity. Manifested in a fifth dimensional vibration, retaining a luminous and perfected level of physicality. The time you have awaited for so long is just over your shoulders. All ascended civilizations, on this planet and beyond, are now vigilantly working together in unity and harmony to assist the ascension of Mother Earth and of humanity. This is the time you have waited for so many incarnations. I suggest that you remain centered in your heart and focused within your divine presence through all the changes and the purification of the planet. The new world, you have hoped for, transformed as you have desired, is now about to manifest. I guarantee you that there is nothing to fear. Your creator is taking this planet back from the energies of rancor and hate, and the vibration of peace and love will soon be in charge again. All of the Light Realms are offering their assistance for the process of your transformation and transition into the New World. What is taking place at this moment upon your planet is so awesome that this universe and many others are focused upon you. What is about to happen has never been done in any system of worlds, solar system or galaxy anywhere. The transformation that you are about to experience is unique to this planet. You have become, brave ones, the showcase of this universe. 
There are millions upon millions of spaceships, with their large crews and passengers, watching you and sending their love and support. It is most important that you let go of all your attachments to how things have been and how they should be. Let go of all your old belief systems and structures. Life, as you know it at the moment, is about to change drastically for the better. The purification of your planet will open the way for the transformation that is now on its way. It is no longer an event that you anticipate for the future, my friends, the time is now. Those of you who choose to ignore or deny the information given will not be able to do so for very long. A much more intense level of energy, designed to bring about the christing of your planet, began to flood the Earth around May 1st of 2002. This energy is now bombarding the Earth, day and night, and will continue to accelerate and intensify until you are comfortably nestled in the bliss of the fifth dimension. If you are not interested in acceleration and change, you will sooner or later leave this incarnation and incarnate somewhere else that is more appropriate. There are other third-dimensional planets similar to yours at the present time willing to host your life stream and allow you to continue your evolution at your own pace. There is no obligation to come along, the choice is entirely yours. Know that the long cycle of third-dimensional life on this planet is coming to an end. Your Earth Mother has now chosen to graduate and to receive the crown of her ascension. This means that very soon, she will host on her body only an enlightened civilization. There are also those who, for various reasons, will not be ready to ascend in this life, but will qualify in their very next incarnation. They are the souls who will reincarnate here again in the new world to complete their evolution and make their ascension the next time. These beloved souls will become the children of the future generation. As I mentioned, I am one of the guardians of the gate of the fifth dimension. Your surrender to the divine will will bring much ease and grace to your journey. It is my great desire to welcome you there personally when the time comes. I am renewing my invitation for you to come to Mount Shasta in your etheric body at night to attend our nightly classes. The focus of our classes is to prepare your consciousness for the great shift. The Mount Shasta Brotherhood of Light and the Lemurian Brotherhood of Light, as well as many other light beings, have joined together to assist humanity in its ascension process. There are a great number of us ready and available to counsel and work with you personally. The only fee we charge is your willingness to gain greater understanding of your evolutionary pathway, and your willingness to surrender your human ego to your great God Self. Go with the flow of manifestations that will present themselves to you for your transformation and ascension. I am El Moria now making myself available to you through my diamond heart of the will of God.